They have desk time. They also have time in the saddle. They are soil scientists and experts with barbed wire. They tend to their animals and to their machines. The Sims, together in life and in business, mark their days by success and their tomorrows with hope. Shannon says Sims Cattle Company must be sustainable to survive. Simply, he says, take care of the grass. One of the principles that uh, we base our business off of is our grazing practices. High intensity, short duration grazing is a system that we've used since 1989 to try to enhance our um, diversity, our water infiltration, our carbon sequestration and whatnot. So now we've got a rotation that we're trying to follow where we graze the pastures one year um, and then we might swath graze the next couple of years and then we'll um, stack that hay in the form of bales or even we've, we've used loose hay up until this year. It's a really neat evolution of our management, um, changing to fit the times. You know? Shannon tells how the ranch made a change in the calving date to cut feeding costs. So how we reduced our cost of supplemental nutritional supplement is by changing our calving date is the, is the biggest driver. Used to calve 1st of April with the cows, uh, moved that to May 1st and, and what that's done is allowed us to reduce the supplemental feed needed to meet those cows requirements during lactation. And so our grass is starting to green up pretty good the 10th of May and then by the 25th of May we're able to turn out onto strictly green grass is a really cheap means of, of providing protein and energy to the cow to meet her needs as she's raising that calf. Melinda discovered a new idea about how they might manage calves, how they might build an animal that thrives in Wyoming's high country. I had read some articles about um, some people who were keeping heifers on their cows and weaning them at 10 months of age and the information that they provided just made a lot of sense to me for where we live. Uh, they were ultimately trying to raise the best grazing animal that they could, and a, and a cow's uh, rumen doesn't fully develop until she's about at 10 months of age, and they really need that butter fat in the villi to create the best possible uh, grazing animal, and, and it just really hit home that that's what we're trying to do too, is create a good grazing animal. The Sims family is organized around three goals that guide them in all facets of their business and family life. Those goals have greatly improved their lives. We feel it's really important to have an overarching goal to drive what we do on the ranch, not to just own a job, but to own a business that has a purpose. So we developed a, a holistic goal, and there's three parts to that. There's a landscape goal, a lifestyle goal, and a production goal. Within our lifestyle goals, Something as insignificant as wanting to go to our children's basketball games might be addressed, or something as large as your, your aspirations after you want to retire. Our production part of the goal outlines how we want to, to produce our income, which is essentially for us at this point, we're harvesting sunlight via grass and then um, allowing the cows to graze that and converting grass to protein. That's our market right now. Within our landscape goals, that defines how much soil or bare ground we are thinking is acceptable to us. Uh, it defines how we like to see our everyday surroundings, such as our barnyards and our corrals, and gives us a guideline to live by. Shannon and Melinda work as a team, husband and wife, who respect each other's skills. I think what I admire most about Melinda is um, her perspective. You know, she didn't grow up in this business, and so she lends a completely fresh eye to what we're doing. And she's not afraid to speak up and, and be heard and have her ideas count. Um, it takes a strong woman to make this all work, and she's definitely that woman. And is his ability to really look critically at things, and he just tends to have this real truth about him to see things for what they really are.